Hello everyone, welcome to Teamwork Design, where we strive to design life from conversation to communication. I am your host, Terry Mera. We are collectively so judgmental. <laughs> Can we agree to that at least? Let's be honest, right? So from that judgment, we make up stories called assumptions. Sometimes when the person is not what you assumed, you are surprised whether a good or a bad impression is left on you. We are expressive and communicative creatures. If we truly understand the power of words and communication, I mean, words can save, change, and kill lives. And I wonder how we would communicate, not only with others, but with ourselves. We often shape a person's character through words and actions. Sometimes we hear compliments, yet we don't believe the words. Or when we hear some criticism, we take that personally. We all experience countless episodes throughout our lives. Whatever that is, we can all define that person's character with words. Would you trust someone who says, this and that, but fails through any actions, how would you make you feel? Would you believe someone who promises to you occasionally fails to keep that promise and an apology becomes their hall pass? How would you make you feel? Would you plan anything with someone who often does not show up at the last minute? Okay. All these are us to ourselves. <laughs> you trust yourself in that moment, right? Oh, you know you're going to do it. You are motivated. Whatever through podcast or movie or whatever inspired you, motivated you, you know. But you failed through lack of action. You promised to yourself you would do this and that. And... You fail to keep that promise. And what do you feel? Guilty. You planned with the goals you wanted to achieve. Yet you fail to show up at the last minute. Whether work, kids, whatever the emergency was. We all experience these in various episodes, right? The more it happens, the more challenging it is to do better because of that past experience, so-called failure. You are judging yourself the way you are judging others. Man, this one, this is one of the most brutal truth that I have to face more than I like. <laughs> I try not to judge people, but you know. And I keep telling myself, I'm judging other people the way I'm judging myself. And I try to, how should I say, be gentle with it. Do you know what I tell myself? When I am struggling to keep the promise, the plan, and trust in myself. I mean, don't get me wrong. It is all practice. You're not going to keep all the promises to yourself unless you keep practicing it. And keep the plans unless you constantly put effort into keep up with that plan. One practice at a time. And building that trust in yourself is like it will take a while. So when that happens, when I'm struggling, I tell myself this. Circumstances are not valid excuses for a lack of of a performance. As a result, my performance will suffer if I cannot confront and overcome my circumstances. I am what I do. I do what I am. Yeah, it's a bit tough, but guess what? It's the truth. Our words and actions shape who we are. We are the message. The most important message is to yourself. What message would you like to be to yourself? I mean, you can pretend this and that and 
project yourself for something you want to be. I am all for it. As long as you put the effort into it and deliberate and maintain it. But it falls flat and feels fake to you and others when there is no aligned actions to what you are projecting. I talked about owning the 30 seconds of your life. Take charge of the 30 seconds a day because for any change you want, we must start with dust-sized success to ease the pressure while doing so. Because no one likes to change, not even our brains. So it is easier to carry a thread than fabrics. So let's start one thread at a time. So let me ask you, what is the message of your existence? There's no right, wrong, good, or bad answer to this. The answer is for you and no one else's. However, there is a catch. Remove your ethnicity, gender, social title, whether father, mother, brother, whatever it is, and your job or career title. So now, what is the message of your existence you want to be? <laughs> I give it a thought. At this moment, I want my existence, my message to be joyous strive joyously to devote serious effort or energy toward any goal to exert oneself vigorously. One of the many things that I learned from long distance running is every effort takes me on a different journey. The act of running has to stay the same, but the running journey is different every time. Do you know I smile and laugh more while running? (laughs) I joke and laugh about the discomfort I experience while running and have hella fun with myself. That's my message. Not every struggle shouldn't be just hard and difficult, you know? We can make a joke or laugh about it while going through it. So ultimately, I want my message to keep that smile and be joyous, even if you are walking through hell. I wish you all a happy new year and hope you will have a joyous strive to become who you want to be this year. What kind of a message would you desire to be? Thank you for tuning in. This is your host, Terry Mara.